agree. Um, that, that's fine. Then, but if there's anybody on this side of the dais mm -hmm. thinks otherwise, then please tell me because. Part of a family will never convince you otherwise, and that's okay. No, because I stole for five years or whatever the hell it is anymore. Why haven't we get this moratorium in place? Because once it's in place, you're protected, the, the community's protected, and then you can start doing your things as you want to. But we lose time in trying to prepare. You're not losing any time. You're preventing applications from coming in. Okay. Thank you. you. Can, I don't understand why you don't see that. I do see it. Thank you. Well, then, can we do the resolution tonight? The resolution would not be no. done tonight according to our attorneys. I'm going to listen to our attorney. <coughs> That's your number one problem. No, it's not. Okay. Yes, Bill. The other thing is, uh, Bill Palmer, 10 Decker Drive. Um, you know, 175 to to lessen, where possible, prevent traffic congestion on public streets and highways. That applied 10 years ago here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just with the, I'm glad that the Orange County Transit is dead at this point, right now. Because if we had had 167 buses there, and then 167 employees driving in, that's 300 new vehicles in the area. And then the other, remember 61 East Main Street, let's say 70 vehicles there. So when you add up all of these congested problems together, like I said, the light at 208, and 94 is a horse and buggy intersection. That's it, man. Yeah. And it always what? was. It always was. I can remember, yeah. So, All right. just uh, ambulance through there. Yeah. Now, um, yes. that being said, and I appreciate your, your thoughts, the, the um, area of 23 South Street is owned single family residential. 165 single-family residential, mm -hmm. okay? So you see why we want to uh, go beyond what hundreds of people signed here in the village to allow single-family homes, just nothing larger than single-family right. homes, okay? So we're one step ahead of what we need to do. Right there, okay? Yes? Bob Yukowski, 29 Capitol Drive. Um, you know, I sat through the proposal for uh, Orange County Transit, and I said, okay. And, and I'm thinking about it. Now, if that gentleman needs a bus garage near here to service his customers, he's going to buy a piece of property to the east, to the west, to the south, to the north, and he's going to get his bus depot. We will get the traffic, except we will not get an opportunity to control how the buses to file into our traffic. So. Well, it's great to say, no, we don't want it in our neighborhood. We need to watch what does happen and be cognizant of the fact that, you know what, there's a lot of property for sale around here. So if it's in our village, we can control it to some point. If it's not, all we do is get the traffic. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to say that as I look to the ceiling, the floor, I'm where I need to be. There's no ethical dilemma about that. I'm where I need to be. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay? I already had a comment. No. You know what I'm talking about. We had a little conversation. Amen. I'm where I need to be. Amen. All right? Me too. Lining around the PC Shore Drive. Uh, I'm glad that you turned down, um, so far anyway, the Orange County Transit uh, LLC. I don't know if you ever checked them out, but if you do a Google search for Orange County Transit LLC and lawsuits, you'll be amazed how many come up, including issues on bankruptcy. Um, and they have something going on with Valley Central School District at the moment. So um, they, they just doesn't sound like they operate in the way anybody would want an operation. I've been a business person. I've had businesses in the past. You don't want to deal with somebody that operates like that. So uh, as, if they try again, these, these are <coughs> people that uh, seem to be uh, on the straight and narrow and level. So Let me assure you that there, we do our homework. We're well-educated. Well okay. I've worked in education. I do my homework. I love research. So I'm very familiar with Google and beyond. 
I have an IT wizard in my home. I love research. Trust me. I do my homework. So you found a lot of more about them. Let's just say I found a lot of information. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Former educator here. Me too. Okay. And not former. Once you're an educator, you're always an educator. No, I'm sick of other people's kids right about now. <laughs> <laughs> but you heard me say that. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Mark Quirk with 360 Tolman Road, Washington. Um, my question revolves around the comprehensive plan. Uh, you stated that it was $80,000 to, to uh, have a contractor help you with a comprehensive plan. Was there a time frame that was uh, allocated to that plan and that cost? We would like to have it completed within a year. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the $80,000 was a laundry list. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's some things that, you know, he has our comprehensive plan draft. I met with this gentleman it's probably three weeks ago now. Uh, we have master plans, okay, as far as mapping is concerned. We have zoning that we are in the midst of, or was in the midst of, of, um, of changing. As far as setbacks and, and things like that. So, so within a year, we're well on our way. Hoping to have it within a year, is what you're saying. Yes. Uh, now, I, as far as... Um, you know, I, I do my homework too. I'm a, um, a former educator. I did retire. But prior to getting into um, education, I'm an architect from New Jersey that dealt with planning. Okay, um, so I do know what, what the steps need to be. We just happened to run into COVID two years ago, and during that time, we lost our village historian. So that's something else that we're looking to fulfill. And we lost the Zoning Board of Appeals chairperson. Uh, they both passed away you know, during that time. Okay, so it's not that we've been dragging our feet. No, I, exactly. like, like I said, uh, conversations with, with the county, the village of Washingtonville never submitted a comprehensive plan. How does that happen? That's why I asked the question. I'm and I appreciate it. I appreciate the time that you took to be here tonight. Thank you. I think we should, uh, I remember being at the ambulance dinner, 1996, when it was brought up, I think it was Nancy Calhoun came in and talked about we have a master plan now. So I'm sure we should do a little bit more research on that. Everything has to be sent out to Things the Things disappear, the you know? This is 1995. Yeah, but you know, when, when you have, you know, it's been, maybe it was lost in the flood. It was lost in, in Washingtonville. It didn't flood in Goshen. Yeah. I'll find out. Okay. What it didn't flood in Albany. Right. Okay. That's okay. where they eventually wind up. Oh, believe me. Uh, there's like right. two million voters up there on the voter rolls that aren't in any of the counties. In the 62 counties. I'm not shocked if you look at me to that's a give a reaction. Do you report it? So, so you, you made a good point about 1995, which is the last one, quote unquote, that was submitted. Right. I think it's recommended every five years. Mm -hmm. So really in 2000, 2005, 2010, 2015, mm -hmm. were four opportunities that should have been done, which weren't right. done. I don't know who was on the board or mayor during that time frame, but it was never done. And we're attempting to do it now. Good. Yeah, so I mean, it's like, I'm going to talk to the other people regarding that. We're not against you. No. Please don't be against I us. Don't, we don't. all live here. Team Washington Listen, Bill, right? This is about facts. I like to believe this is about facts. And 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 that, if something's know. lost, why is it lost? Then let's not let it happen again. Right. So that's all. It's not your fault. It it's not your fault. It wasn't lost in Albany. All that I know is I had nothing made. to do with the town yeah. stuff ever in my life, except for a little Little League and uh, yeah. ambulance. But I always had in the back of my mind the master plan. Mm -hmm. because it was there, and it meant something to me. I'm a former business manager to uh, Veterans Homes in New Jersey, 29 years, and I don't forget things. And I know that qualified people did the right thing at that <coughs> time to get that done, and that's it, so I'm going to find out. Okay, that's Thank all. You. Mike, Mike Graziano, 3 Lark Street. Um, regarding the comprehensive plan, it almost seems like you know, a year is almost too late, too late to get the plan together. I mean, I know things can't just be done overnight. Is there anything, maybe talking to other towns or villages, is there anything that could be done as far as 
putting something, like Tom said, something in place somehow that would give, you know, some restrictions to, to create some things to, to stop any applications from coming in. Because it could happen, like Tom said, quickly. And it's going to take some time to put the, the building moratorium. That's that's the only thing. Is there is there a way that could be expedited? How fast could how fast could we put it together? Yeah, I would hope that we have something in place by December first. Okay, for a comprehensive uh, uh, committee, I should say. Mm -hmm. Okay, and even though something is zoned, for my understanding today, yeah. You know, New Jersey law and New York law, yeah. two separate yeah. um, set of laws that if something was proposed but needed to get into, uh, it takes a lot, just the floor plan is not going to do it. Okay. So, yeah. um, we need, that goes we into need your help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's time, you know, it's, it, I'm hoping that everyone in this room okay, can give five minutes, ten minutes, okay, but we all have to come in with an open mind. Well, how do we want to see the village of Washington go? Twenty years from now. There you go. Okay. Uh, as an architect, I'm trained twenty years down the road. How do we want to see it? From a house, to a building, to a community, to a bypass. <laughs> I don't know, Jersey got rid of them, so there must have been something. Something and, and, uh, They don't operate that fast down there, trust yeah, me. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Um, but there was, um, we need to work fast. So well, it's only to get something in place, maybe. If you can get something in place just to prevent applications from coming in and just... We still have to go through the approvals. We just can't say no, you can't build here. No, I understand, but you build a moratorium, you said, could be in place. But what, what's the moratorium for? Well, it's for lot sizes and things like that, no? Okay. Maybe so, something like that. a lot size, now now let's say your home lot is less than the lot size that we're proposing, and you want to add on an addition, you can't. Well, you don't meet the it lot keeps size. It keeps the character of the village the same, which is important. This That's is what we hear from people. It, it's like that hamster wheel. We, yeah, we I just understand. keep going around. I around. understand. But then your okay. kids grow up and they want to move home because they can't afford a place, and then you know you can't act. You know they move home. They move home with usually with the dog. Tom's going to go ahead and I mean, I think what the comments are is exactly what we're trying to drill to. And the more that you talk, the more it sounds like, and we all know how detailed this thing's going to be. So I know just because the way life goes, that there'll be somebody coming to the planning board with an application. We don't have a plan. To do something, well, that you automatically board. take over then. You no, guys are now, you, no, then it goes to not. the town. No, it does, does not. Now, well, yeah, no, it does not. Then it order, it, the village, you guys were planning board when the village, when the planning board had an issue back in 2018. No, we were not. No, somebody, we were not. We're the first application. Architectural Only the architectural review, review board. board. We would never. Somebody, allow. there was a gentleman at one of these meetings, one of the three, two applicants that I remember, not the North Street guys, I wasn't here for any of his meetings. Okay. But mentioned that, spoke to the village board, who was the planning board at the time. We would and never. You guys had two meetings. We would never, as the zoning board, which what you're looking East at, Maine. what you're looking at is, uh, or thinking about, is 61 East Main Street. Right. Right. When they came in with office residential, they needed a building permit. That's what they needed. We asked them to make it permit. all residential, turn the buildings in the direction that they are now, set them back 40 feet, so eventually we could put, or possibly widen the road there. Okay? They were, Who they said it? fine. And that's that was, what they that did. That was this board. But it has nothing to do with this was a suggestion. Do we want residential or do we want business commercial? So they made a presentation of what they wanted. At you the, guys said, do something different. Yes. So I understand that, that you said I was working with them. I appreciate that. Right. I appreciate that thought. Well, we I mean, want, you're entertaining it, but, you know, were you the village board or were you the acting planning board? We wouldn't, they never came up in front of the planning board. They came up in front of the village board. Okay, again, because there was no planning board. Correct. So, by, who, 
by the village law. statute, then who takes over what happens to the planning board? We, we could be sued by not having a planning board. So please don't say we were the planning board. We were not. By um, law, the way the we were had not described. allowed to be nothing more than the planning board. Uh, uh, nothing board. more than the village, the village board. board. I'm sorry. The village board is the only board that can change zones. Correct. Zoning Board of Appeals can grant the variance. Correct. Okay. Orange County Transit wanted a zone change. That's why we heard it. And who put that application? Was it the uh, Orange County Transit or was it Kazazan? Orange County Transit with an okay. affidavit, I believe, or permission from Jim Kazazan. Yeah. Okay. Because normally he has to own the property in order to make that, yes. to make that request. Yes. Okay. And with that request, he also asked us to look at changing the whole farm to business commercial. And that was that's the other seven transmission. That's the other no. I'm Orange County Transit. <laughs> Orange County <laughs> Transit? No. Orange County that Transit was interested in 9.1 acres. Then Kazaza said put the other 77 acres in there. Let's zone the whole let's thing over. Let's entertain the zone of business commercial. Right. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much what it was. But back to the statement of the reason for the comprehensive plan resolution is to forego any of the issues that I've already explained that I think the residents here are trying to echo as well, is that once you put it in place, you can do and have the time to do whatever you need so that it's done not hastily, and you can have time to interview other uh, uh, planners, if that's what you want to do, because 80,000 80, seems to be like a lot of money at the end of the day. But if that's a fair going price, then so be I think it's a bargain. You know, yeah. but it's, you know, whatever, whatever it turns out to be. Uh, but I think that we'll be standing here in a different situation with a different applicant, unless uh, they're just scared of watching all this stuff all the time and we'll decide not to put an application in. But it's, to me, it's a major, major mistake. Okay. Don Jack Russo, 39 Woodfield Drive. I guess I did get a little bit too excited, excited prematurely. So the proposal is gone. The applicant has the option of coming back, if so be, with another proposal. So what was touched on before, I was going to initially talk about until I thought it was gone. And since this is potentially in, in our near future, um, I'm also a former educator and do my homework. And I'm wondering if the board had vetted Orange County Transit before while we were entertaining that proposal. Did the board? No. Vetted. No. No. But you have to understand, somebody could come and, and propose a 72-story building on the farm. You have to listen to it. You just can't say no. And that's what the Orange County Transit did. Okay. And now, if they came in and they said, well, this is what we want to do, we still have to listen to it. And then we still have to make the decision. Okay. But I'm bringing it up now in case... They should come back. What was said earlier was just the surface. You said you've done some homework yourself and you have a folder full. They could come back and do another name. There's been at least three names that they've already had. I think he There's mentioned four or five, right? Remember that 90? Up to five. Right. I, but I can only confirm right now three, probably four. There's a lawsuit against them. Millions of dollars, him specifically, for millions. Okay. Uh, Fair enough. It's off the table. Like I don't understand yeah. why you're. Because it's that proposal's off the table, but he, I do not believe that he will go away. He will come back with another proposal. And we have to listen to it. So just because you said there, if they were not vetted, please. Do your due diligence and research it if they should come before the board again. Okay, so but if somebody if somebody it. comes to the board with a similar proposal, what makes okay. you think we're going to change our mind 
and 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 They're agree. All of a sudden take it. I mean, I, I would think that you, you the writing's on the wall on how I feel and how the board members feel about this. I mean, well, they you're, 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 I think you're trying to go and go and go to to we. I don't, I don't. I didn't know what you're trying to do, but what I just I'm think you need to, to know that to the sure. message from the from from the applicant, regardless who presented it, regardless who he is, the idea of that was turned down by this board. Right. That proposal was. It doesn't mean that the same applicant can't come back I, with something similar. I'm right. But why, why do you think their that? Time and do that? Whether it's him no, or Mickey Mouse, and they come back with wanting what they wanted, I don't think who will pass it. I understand if we had to go back to the middle school for you to entertain this application, which means like you're taking the first step of saying, we're, yeah, entertaining. we're, gonna, we're entertaining it. Well, when it's zoned all day, he wanted. wants a BG, that lights the fuse. I don't understand why you guys don't see this. Well, and a moratorium would eliminate all this, Jimmy. That's what we want. Done. It would be done. No, and it's it done in the evening by making it huh? They would still come in. Let's say we, we zoned Industrial Park where that where that site is. They could still come in and ask for a zone change. You it's deny not, it. It's, and they're gonna go to the planning board and say, listen, it's zone to go to the planning board. You can't put industrial. Because they have to go for a zone change. The village board is the only board. Why is anybody gonna change. go through that that hard? I mean, even if we get through this, we go through what, a comprehensive plan, and you change it to whatever the community decides, and somebody comes in and, and says, I want to make it uh, five-story apartment buildings, yeah. that's a brand new zone, yeah, we'll listen to it. What? This is supposed to be the plan for the next 20 years. We don't have a zone for five-story buildings. Nor would we. But you're going to listen to the applicant. That's the point. Okay. Because of the site plan, it's not like just a conversation early, anymore. I, they're coming with maybe everything. I am they're putting money know. into it, which means it's being entertained. That's the concern. How far can it go? And then the boards are worried and concerned about a potential litigation because they've already spent tens of thousands of dollars. That's all. That's the purpose, Jimmy, of why I'm and concerned that, that they can come back. And, and that would have happened if we kept kicking the can down the street. Okay, they would have spent the thirty, the forty, the fifty thousand dollars. Okay, if you remember, I brought this up several times. Previous to the boards that we have, the planning and zoning board, the first time the planning board actually looked at the set of drawings for Chase Bank was the night when Chase Bank had the architects, the engineers, the attorneys, the contractor, okay, as well as the person who's going to oversee the job. What do you think it cost them that night? And the planning board had the nerve, had the nerve at that night to open up the drawings for the first time. And when I say we need to have work sessions, okay, before the applicant comes in with their plans. The applicant could be here, you could be asking plans. And when I said that, the planning board got up and left. Okay? That's what happens. All right. So if someone wants to come in and put up a five-story building, by law we have to listen to it. By not law, if not well, if you're changing zones. But we zones did listen to if it. You're in. We did listen to it when they came with their initial application. They weren't ready that night. They said we need to do more more work on it. That's fine. Doing your work, have overhead uh, projections. We will look for a different venue. We did that. Okay? We changed the meeting because it was a, a, a Jewish holiday. We changed the meeting. We go to the middle school. People show up to the middle school, but that's still not good enough. I don't understand it. I really don't understand what you want from the village board, what you want from the zoning board, what you want from the zoning board of appeals. That was good enough doing it at the middle school. But you still that was the right thing to do. There was probably near 200 people that showed up at that meeting. Right. And you know who had the most things to say? People in the town of Blooming Grove, not the village of Washingtonville. Well, I have Does a lot that make any sense? Shut down. Does that make any sense? Because if I go with what Bob was saying, if they were to build that same building in Blooming Grove, we're still getting the buses because they're picking up the kids and they didn't move. Okay, so we're still getting the traffic. We're not getting any revenue. We're not getting any taxes. Okay, we're not doing things just for taxes. Okay, 
but now it, it's going to be in Bloomingbrook or Chester or New Windsor. Mm -hmm. Buses are still coming through here. But Your main concern was traffic. Yeah, 100%. But the traffic will still be here. Well, the traffic. Not like that, Joe, yeah. because you know what? It's, it's not just the buses, but every one of those buses needed a bus driver during rush hour, first thing in the morning, while our buses are already out on the road. So now you have all the bus drivers coming in through to, on it 208. Is, it it, and it then, is what it is. But it's a dead issue. I, but you are okay with residential on 208 in that same place. That's what it's currently I, zoned. It is right. zoned that. According to your moratorium, that's what you're okay with. That's you what you're okay with. Do you have any idea how many Right now, Think right about now. coming into Washington, Mayor. What do you say? It, you know what, Ralph? Green it, Acres. It's Ralph's zone Green Acres. RA. Peace. Okay. What about Ralph's? Everybody's got to be comfortable Good. with that. Well, that's a mess. RA. Sure, it's a mess. But if we can get through. Sure, it's a mess. But no one's addressing the mess. Come up with a different zone. Maybe it's senior 55 and over. Maybe. It beats a large traffic. warehouse. It beats tractor Maybe. trailers. Yes. It yes. beats more homes with more cars, with more kids for the school system. That always seems to be a break even yes. somewhere along the line. Correct. So, so you figure out how many units you want them to but build. But I still think you might entertain it. I'm sorry? Patrice Gessner on 7 Puritan Lane. I think the difference between having 130 buses coming in and out all at one time is a lot different from 130 residential of some of them leaving at 6, some of them leaving at 7, some of them leaving at 8. It kind of disperses the traffic a little bit. So I think that's where I, I need to stand up and, and mention that. Um, and running around 64 Shore Drive, I am from the town. Uh, the village is within the town, Joe, and you well know that. And we have to put up with everything around, not just the town. What about Monroe? What about our neighbors all around? And if you are saying that your lawyer said you should not do a moratorium, where's the lawyer? She didn't no, say we shouldn't she do it. She just have to have the paperwork You said prepared. the lawyer said you should not do it today. We don't have the paperwork ready. We're not ready to put a moratorium on it until we know it's going thing. to be. It's going to be a discussion from the board. We we're just not going to do things the way it's been done around here. Not so, going to so do. So what it. is your plan? I think that would help everybody. There's to going know. to be a moratorium. What is your plan? What is There's your time frame? There's going to be a moratorium. We will be presenting the moratorium. I when? don't know that date right now. Okay, but I it mean, will is be it going to be before the end of the year? Yes, I mean, it's going to be yes. before yes. the end of the year. That yes. gives people something to hang their hat on. No, no, it, it, apparently that's not going to be good. No, but, but it's anyway, going to be good. No, I guess. No, Joe, that's, that's, that's not fair. And, and you're, no, that's ridiculous. We need to get that in place before the next application comes to the board. Yes, we because know you that. will get more know. applications, Valerie. You know what? You well know that. Yes, I know. And you we have to hear them, them, and we all, I know that as well. You have to sit down and hear them. But if you have a moratorium, then you will not be sued because you don't have a planning board in place yet because you have the moratorium in place. What, what, in your words right now, what should the moratorium, legally, what should it say? You want me to tell you. Apparently, you... you no, apparently, you, you, you brought it up that... Uh, Read the petition. The petition is not something we agree with. So you're fine with... Building homes, residential houses, for your moratorium, the, one, the petition that you handle. Nothing us. larger than a single family. Well, you guys were ready for BG, which is but a moment of anything. anything. We I can put a cement plane in there. We that was just hard to the thing. applicant. You're assuming. All right. You're okay. No, it's reality if you change the zone. You're okay well, we with. We didn't change the zone. We didn't change We didn't agree to anything. You know the simple one. I, nothing is I don't understand the Washington. resistance for that for the, for that resolution. That okay. Well, it's not going to be tonight. No, it's, not it's not going to be tonight. No, no, no. Well, okay. it, and and or I'm going month to or just month after that or month shame after on that. me. Okay. Shame on this village board for consulting with attorneys. Yeah, just so, shame but on. But then what was your comment us. then? Don't do it tonight. Get away from my resolution. No, shame there's on, stipulations shame on to put the moratorium. You don't just say there's okay. a moratorium. Your 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 petition said. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I'm done. Nothing more than, nothing larger than single-family homes because there's a water problem, right? Well, not because of. That was one reason. Oh, okay. There are many reasons. Because yeah. single-family yeah. homes 
which we have more of than anything, uses no water. Right? Sorry? Single family homes don't use water. Yeah. Joe, you're, you're, you're not coming off the edge. There was a line. water restriction. I don't really, you're not. I don't I don't know know it's, not a good it's my delivery. Quite frankly, it's I don't care what you think about my delivery. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you very much for, for coming. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. My dad. Can I have a box? I think Bob Lujowski had something. Yeah, Bob had something. Yeah. He would raise your hand. I have something. My name is Mark Quirk, 360 Tone Road. Um, You're still there, huh? Yeah, I'm still there. I'll be there for a very long time. It's a very big piece of land. Um, so, this is my first time in the meeting, and I've heard all the meetings, and I follow you guys online. And I've, I've been harassed by a lot of people to sell my property. I'm not going to do that. So, uh, what I will say is the moratorium I agree with, but with uh, some backing behind it with water restrictions and all that other thing. So all of those things need to be looked at in order to implement the moratorium. And, you know, I, I do believe we should do this quickly, but I also do believe we should add in everything we can to support and back up everybody in this room, right? And that's exactly what I think they're trying to achieve. I, I, don't, I don't know that for sure, but you have, you have to look at, I'm an engineer by trade, you gotta look at every single issue that's going to be related to that moratorium. And I totally agree with all you guys, and I'm, I'm with you 100%. But if you don't take everything into consideration, and we do it tonight, and we miss something, yes. we're screwed. Thank we're you. totally Thank screwed. You. I came from Blooming Grove, I can tell you, it's, an, it's a nightmare. So you got to look at every in, individual aspect of that moratorium and ensure that we're covering ourselves before we just say, let's do it. We so, agree with everyone in yeah, here. Uh, listen, just, I hear you. Nailed it. You, yeah. you got to take everything into Thank consideration. You. Water, sewage, traffic, mm -hmm. everything. And that's going to take some, maybe take School. a little bit of time, but you got to do it. You can't just say, let's cut it off, because that doesn't work. You're hired to help with <laughs> them. Bob Yukowski, 29 Capital Drive. I just have to say a couple more things, um, in particular on Orange County Transit. A lot of people are calling that an application, a submission, whatever. It was a proposal, okay? It was a proposal signed by a landowner in the village, okay? That means we get to listen, okay? It doesn't mean anybody makes a decision. It means we have to listen. You can't just send it out the door. Supposing that was a project that everybody in the room wanted, and the village looked at it, and the board looked at it, and said, no, we don't want it. You'd be cursing them out and banging with them for sending it down the road. This particular instance, it was different. But Orange County Transit did not get a fair listen at that night, okay? They were dead before they even started. We didn't even listen to them. That's wrong. We do get to listen, then decide. To me, that's important. With respect to the moratorium, you got to do your homework. Okay, this gentleman just nailed it. I don't have to repeat anything he said because he nailed it. You got to do the research. You got to listen to the attorneys. You got to listen to the engineers and get it done and get it done right. Okay, the other thing is the board is committing to getting it done by the first of the year, approximately, or trying. 